Loops in JavaScript. In programming, loops are used to repeat a block of code. For example, if you want to display a message 100 times, then you can use a loop. First, we will learn about the for loop. Syntax of the for loop is this one. You have to add for, then in this parenthesis, we are adding the initial value of i. After that, we are checking the condition. If this condition is true, then only this code will be executed. And after execution of this code written in this curly braces, it will increase the value of i by 1. Now let's understand the for loop with one example. Suppose I want to print one message 10 times. For that here, let's add console.log and in the message, I will add great stack. So I want to print this great stack 10 times. Let's start it with one. Initial value of i is one. And I want to print this for 10 times. So here we will add less than equal to 10. This is simple. Now if I run this code, you can see great stack is printed 10 times. You can see 10 here. We are printing the same message 10 times. That's why the browser will collapse it and display only one line. And here it will display 10. It is printed 10 times. Now let's take the another example of for loop. I want to print number from 1 to 10. For that, this for condition will be same. Here we will just add i. So first what will happen? The i value will be 1. And it will be printed using this console.log i. After that, it will increase the value. So the i value will be 2 and it is less than 10, right? Then it will print 2. Again, it will increase the value. That will be i3 and i is equal to 3 is less than 10. So 3 will be printed. So like this, it will be printed up to 10. Now run this code and you can see 1, 2, 3 up to 10 is printed in this console tab. We can use loops for printing the data of an array. Let's take another example. Let me comment it. And here I will add let coding equal to one array. And in this array, I will add JavaScript. Python. C++. Now I want to print the JavaScript, Python and CPP using for loop. To get the element, we use the index. So index start with 0. JavaScript is at 0 index. Python have index 1. CPP have index 2. So let's write the for loop. Here we will add for. Let's add let i is equal to 0 because index starts with 0. Now i will be less than the length of array. So this is the array dot length. So array length is 3. Maximum index value is 2. That's why I am adding i less than coding dot length that is 3. i less than 3. After that we will add i plus plus. And in this curly braces, we will add the code that has to be executed every time. So here we will add console.log coding and i. First, it will execute coding 0, then coding 1 and coding 2. So coding 0 will display JavaScript, coding 1 will display Python and coding 2 will display CPP. So you can see the output in this console tab, JavaScript. Python and CPP. So you can use the loop on arrays also. We can create another loop inside a loop. Let's see another example. Here we already have this code. This is the first loop and let me make it small. I'll add 1 to 5 and it will print the number from 1 to 5. And after that, we will add another loop inside this loop. Here we will add for and here we will add another variable name. Let's add let j is equal to 1. So initial value is 1. 
next we will run this loop for three times so here we will add j less than equal to three then increase the value of j and in this we will print another message let's add console.log and here we will add one message inner loop plus j now you can see the output in the console tab first it will execute this code and after that it will come to this for loop now this for loop will be executed for three times and in three times it will print inner loop one inner loop two inner loop three here we will add a space so you can see inner loop one two three now again it will increase the value of i so i will be two and this will be printed console.log i so two will be printed in the console tab you can see two is printed here and after this again this for loop will be executed and it will again print from the one two three you can see one two three now again the i value will be increased by one it will be three and three is printed here and again it will execute this inner loop now you can see the message inner loop one two three again the outer loop will be executed console.log i i will be four so this is how you can use another loop inside a loop now we will learn while loop syntax of while loop let's add while and in this parenthesis we will add condition then in this curly braces we will add the code that has to be repeated so this is the syntax of while loop which is very simple so in this one we have to add one condition and this code will be executed until the condition is true when the condition is false it will stop the loop now let's understand the while loop with one example we will print number from 0 to 10 so here let's add console dot log let's add i and we have to declare this i so here we will add let i is equal to 0 because we have to print the number from 0 to 10 now in this condition we will add i less than equal to 10 so first it will check the i value i value is 0 so if the value is less than 10 then it will print the value of i now it will print the same value again and again so we have to increase the value so in the next line we will add i plus plus so first it will print the value then it will increase the value now you can see the output 0 1 2 up to 10 so this while loop is repeating this code until the i value is less than or equal to 10 suppose the i value is 10 so 10 less than equal to 10 is true it will print this value that is printed here now it will increase the value by 1 so i will become 11 now it will again go to this condition and 11 is less than equal to 10 that is false once it is false then it will stop this loop next we will learn do while loop do while loop is also very simple so this is the syntax for do while loop first it will execute the code written in this do statement and after that it will check the condition if the condition is true then it will again execute this code and when the condition is false it will stop this loop now let's understand it with one example let's write one code to print a number from 1 to 5 using do while loop so here we will add let i is equal to 1 and it will print using console tab console.log i and here it will check the condition we will add i less than equal to 5 here we have to increase the value of i so let's add i plus plus 
Now you can see the output in the console tab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So first the i value is 1, then it will come to this statement and it will print the value of i 1, then it will increase the value by 1, so it will become 2. So 2 is less than or equal to 5, that is true. So again it will print the value, so it will be printed here, then it will become 3 and 3 is less than or equal to 5, that is also true. Again 3 will be printed here, like this it will print 1 to 5 series. Now let's change the value of i to 10. If I add i is equal to 10, you can see the output. 10 is printed here. Why it is printed? Because do while loop will execute the code first time, then only it will check the condition. So first it will print the value of i, i is equal to 10. So console.log i will be printed here 10. Then it will increase the value 11. Then the value of i will be checked here, i less than or equal to 5, which is false. So it will not execute the code again, but the first time it will be printed. So this was for loop, while loop and do while loop. Apart from this, there are some other loops also like for of, for in that we will study in advanced JavaScript. Now we will learn about break and continue statement in JavaScript. The break statement is used to terminate the loop immediately. Let's understand this with one example. Let's take one example of for loop for printing 1 to 5 number. This for loop is printing number from 1 to 5. You can see in the console tab. Now if I add one if condition here before printing this number, here we will add if i comparison operator 3. When the i value is 3, then we will add break. So you can see what will happen when it will get the break statement, it will terminate the loop, it will stop the loop. You can see in the output only 1 and 2 is printed. First time the i value will be printed, then second time the i value will be printed that will be 2, then third time i will be 3 and here it will be checked if i is equal to 3, it will get this break statement and after that it will terminate the loop. Only i is equal to 1 and 2 is printed here. So this is how we use the break to terminate the loop or exit the loop. Now we will learn about the continue. The continue statement is used to skip the current iteration of the loop and the control flow of the program goes to the next iteration. Let's see the example. Here if I write continue, then what will happen? First the i value will be 1, so it will not be executed, then i will be 2, it will not be executed, then i value will be 3. Once the i value is 3, it will get this continuous statement. When it will get the continuous statement, it will skip the remaining code of this for loop. It will directly come to the next iteration. It will increase the value of i by 1. So i will be 4. So the 4 will be printed. Now you can see the output 1, 2, 4, 5. 3 is not printed because when the i value is 3, it will skip this part and the i will become 4, then again 4 will be printed. So this is how break and continue statement works. So this was all about the for loop, while loop, do while loop, break and continue. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Great Stack to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.